everybody. It's Harry from Step Daddy Barbecue, the YouTube channel that brings you happiness in barbecue. I usually am doing the one cooking, but today I'm here with CJ. CJ is a grand champion pit master in Texas. Won many, many awards that you can even shake a stick at. He's a cook on the Mama and Papa's Joe barbecue team. Mama's holding the camera right now. And CJ, what are we going to be doing today? Folks, we're going to be doing something out of the ordinary. Uh, Harry has brought his world famous fish head curry <laughs> stew. Uh, we're calling it the uh, the uh, parking lot uh, edition. I'm so looking forward to this, man. Uh, it's going to be awesome. And uh, this evening, we're going to have some folks out to uh, to get a little sample. Let's get moving. <laughs> So this uh, style of curry that we're making is going to be a parking lot kind of approximation. Uh, typically, you, you would have to go, do a lot of spices, a lot of dry ingredients, a lot of wet ingredients, a lot of ground ingredients. But because this is a parking lot, I'm going to show you guys some shortcuts that I found in the store. You're not going to get the same authentic flavor, but it's going to be pretty close. Curry is a time-honored tradition in Asia. There's probably around maybe 15 different countries in the world where we cook curry all the way from Japanese curry, to African Caribbean curry, to Indonesian curry, to Singaporean curry. So this is gonna be sort of a kind of a little bit of a mix of everything. Now we're gonna walk you through kind of the process. So yeah, as he's cutting up the onion, usually the base of curry is usually ginger and garlic is the base. I couldn't find the ginger, so we just use the onion to make it work. <laughs> Once you have the right combination of spices, there's a technique where you fry the spices and there's another technique where you put, you dump the spices into the hot cooking liquid. So two, two ways, we're gonna do the saute method today. Okay, so that's great. We're gonna throw that in the pot and saute some onions. We're gonna get the onions in the pot and saute the onions, get some uh, color and flavor. Maybe a quarter cup of oil-ish, that's enough to cover the onions, that's good. While the onions are sauteing, Clarence is gonna cut up the eggplant. Maybe many years, uh, not many years ago, uh, in 2016, I first met Harry at the uh, at the Houston Livestock Rodeo Show uh, on Champions uh, Corner, Champions Row. And we hung out for a little bit, uh, tasted some of his products. They were, they were awesome. After that, I started following him on social media to, to some degree. I'm not gonna say that we, uh, we had any type of relationship, but I, I followed him. I watched him on, uh, on some of the, uh, the, the pitmaster competitions online and was very, very impressed with his, his know-how. I never once imagined that we'd be sitting here in a parking lot uh, <laughs> collaborating on something uh, this awesome, man. Uh, it's funny how things happen. Uh, and and I, I, I get to be here and watch him cook. How cool is that, yeah. right? <laughs> so I always say that, you know, the barbecue journey is not about the food, it's about the people. Yeah, it absolutely is. And, um, and you know, we, we got a chance to hang out with Mama and Papa <laughs> here in a parking lot in San Antonio. How cool is that? Yes, sir. And we have something exotic going here that's totally non-barbecue for a change. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we get a green onions prepped. And the wonderful thing is now we did find some fresh curry leaves. If you never had fresh curry leaves, it just kind of a very, very fragrant uh, smell that lends itself to giving you the aroma of curry. So you're gonna kind of maybe pull a couple of couple of out and pull the leaves out. And we're gonna put them into the onion mix. That's probably, yeah, probably double that, double that is probably good. And these freeze really well, so you don't, you don't wanna waste them. You can put them in the freezer, they, they last for a few months. If there's going to be left over, I'm going to bring this back to LA because this is really hard to find. <laughs> to bring back on Southwest. Now, ordinarily what we would do is we would mix a curry paste and we would saute. But since we are in a parking lot, I'm going to take a little shortcut. So this is a pre-made 
curry mix you can buy and this will shorten the process this already has the curry spices curry powder oh, sweet things like turmeric yeah. coriander cumin funang greek you see the texture can you smell it mm -hmm. you already smell that curry oh yeah and pop yeah. it in here oh yeah so this uh, saves a lot of time wow that color instantly instant color instant color so that I could get to a TSA, I, I use a dry coconut powder. Usually I bring the can, oh, okay. but TSA won't allow me to come on the airplane, oh, so I had to get the powder. Happen. So there you go, a little bit of coconut powder. Okay. Go ahead and put this in there. simmering for about 30-40 minutes and uh, CJ is going to kind of balance the flavors. We're going to add a little bit of salt. You want to taste it first? Give it a taste here yeah. and see we want to get it to, before we add the vegetables. We just kind of season it a little bit here. See how it tastes like. It needs to be a salt. Uh, definitely, definitely salt. salt. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and add oh, some salt. Oh, it's got a nice back heat. Yeah, it's got a nice back heat. This is just kosher salt. Uh, right there, that's about two tablespoons, two teaspoons, a and bit of a uh, tablespoon. about a tablespoon of yeah. uh, light brown sugar. That's what I have on hand. Clarence is gonna go ahead and uh, prepare the fish. This is supposed to be a fish head curry, but we couldn't find fish head, so this fish will work just as well. We're gonna cut it into kind of two inch sections, and we're gonna poach the fish in there to release all the wonderful cooking liquid into the curry. Paris is going to go ahead and cook the vegetables. We're going to have to cook them in turn because we have a small pot. Ordinarily, if you have a very, very big pot, you can dump everything in. And the idea is that you cook your vegetables to the doneness you want and you take it out and you set it aside. And before you serve your guests, you just kind of reassemble the dish. So Clarence is going to cook the green beans first and then we're going to get them to the nice level of tenderness and we're going to take it out and we're going to cook the eggplant and cook the fish. The fish, the fish, baby. fish, and then we're gonna poach the fish in there yeah. until it's perfectly just barely tender. And we just pop the onions in also, yeah, almost, kind of get nice and soft. Almost forgot the green onions. Yeah. And now uh, we, we usually put a little bit of mint in it. Tell people the amount of mint is up to you. Some people like the mint, some people don't. Okay. Put some mint in there. Just nicely, gently simmering away. We don't want to cook this fish very long. It's been about seven or so minutes. I'm going to turn the fire off. And from here, we're just going to let this pot relax with all of the other ingredients. Uh, those beans, uh, green egg uh, beans, eggplant. Uh, we've got a lot of that onion that we uh, removed uh, back into the pot, man. The last thing, man, that we're going to put in to get some beautiful color, some quail eggs. Uh, this is absolutely new to me, but I'm so looking forward to it. And these are in the can already boiled, so it makes life a lot easier. Mm. You can also boil hard boiled eggs in there but i think that uh since we're in a parking lot a can of hard boiled quail's eggs work just as well quail's eggs are white now but the turmeric will stain it so you get these little yellow gems that or pearls pretty, in your food so it's really gonna be cool. a, a beautiful yeah. combination so mama we've been at long last trying to see how this will come out so let everybody see this beautiful creation we have uh, a parking delicious. lot fish curry cooked by CJ and over, over, jasmine and, rice. And over jasmine rice, no less. Can you tell people what, what's in it? 
Mm. So there is eggplant. There is a, is it a Japanese green bean? It's a uh, Asian a, green bean. An Asian green bean. And some uh, eggplant. Um, and with the eggplant, it's served over rice. There was a curry sauce that, of course, that uh, was made. And uh, some fresh uh, curry leaves and also just a little bit of uh, mint that was put in there. Did you get the egg? And, oh, I did oh, not. Yeah, okay, let me get That's a feast here. Here we go. And there's, oh, let me get that looks good. a little, let me get a little And quail we tell egg. the little trick of what we did, how to let it sit like spaghetti sauce. So, yeah, so it has been, it's been done for a while, but it's been sitting in there so that everything can absorb that curry sauce. Okay. So I am going to get a little bit of the eggplant and we get some fish there. And here we go. Okay. Drum roll. Mmm. Oh. Wow. The curry sauce. Oh, excuse me. Smooth with just a little bit of heat. Just a hint of heat right back here. Oh, it is absolutely delicious. Let me try it with the, the egg. Mmm. What's this is a good meal. Make sure that you get all of these ingredients and you try this. This is absolutely delicious. Very fulfilling. I'm going to enjoy myself. Oh, on point. Uh, these flavors are just exploding, man. Uh, and what I love about this cap is it's got huge bones, so they're easy to pick out and set aside. Uh, but everything goes so well together. I almost feels like I'm in an... Uh, in an Asian restaurant. This catfish has got some nice pockets of uh, very, very silky fat, and I absolutely love it. Uh, it is delicious. This is not strange food, this is great food. I appreciate it, Harry. All the way from Los Angeles. So yes, sir. A little bit yes, of sir. Uh, curry love from yeah. LA down to San Antonio. Yeah. Amazing. So folks, you too can try this at home. Not too hard, you saw CJ, do all this on camera. I think the trick is to let it sit and let it soak. Uh, it really worked. Delicious. And get some rice, jasmine rice to go with it. And you have all the textures and flavors of the exotic heat. Oh, that catfish is... Uh, Pretty good, right? It's nice and uh, it's thick, man, but it's so flaky. Uh, it's delicious. Yeah, it is delicious. Parking lot. Fish head curry. Let's make it happen. Enjoy. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by and check out my next video and all these travel adventures. I hope you guys like them. Please leave me a comment if you like more of these kinds of videos where I go out and cook with some of the barbecue legends, TJ and Mama here in San Antonio. More episodes to come. Hello.